Hello everyone, welcome to Indian School of Physics. Guys, uh, this is Nitin here and uh, I posted this question uh, yesterday on a community post as well as in Telegram channel and uh, it is based on uh, gyroscopic uh, precision. So let's understand this concept and uh, uh, we will uh, solve this question also. So here is the problem statement as shown in the figure a gyroscope consists of a uniform disc of radius r and axle of length capital r through its center along its axis the other end of the axle is hinged on a table but is otherwise uh, free to rotate in any direction so if you are taking uh, when they are saying free to rotate in any direction so guys this can uh, you know rotate like this for uh, this particular case the center of the disc is uh, following this circle otherwise in general case uh, it can wobble also like this so luckily here it is uh, moving in a stable orbit so that that part is very crucial here otherwise in uh, three 3d rotations you may have cases where uh, this is rotating in a circle but uh, the center is moving up and down uh, motion on this circle so basically this theta will not be fixed luckily for our problem this theta is fixed here for a certain uh, value of theta uh, this disc is rotating and it is given mass of disc is much larger than that of axle so what we are going to do is we will take this axle mass to be negligible zero we can say and uh, mass is present only in the disc the gyroscope is spinning with angular velocity of omega with the axle and inclined to the vertical direction. Let g be the acceleration due to gravity. Find the angular velocity of precision. So this is called precision. Angular velocity of uh, this motion we have to calculate here. See there are uh, uh, two more videos on 3D uh, rotation. So I will request everyone to check uh, rotational mechanics uh, playlist. There you will find uh, the question. Uh, there are two problems which are related to 3d rotations based on uh, previous years uh, j problems so that will give you a clear idea i will bring few more problems on this uh, 3d rotation so that uh, you guys can get clear idea of it so in order to solve this question with ease i will suggest multiple time i have discussed about this concept this is like polar coordinate and uh, these are a standard r cap and theta cap vector with which we uh, we know that they are changing with time so if i differentiate this d by dt of r cap i get omega theta cap omega will be about this axis axis is coming outside so we are going to use these uh, polar coordinates in uh, 3d rotations they do like a uh, lot of uh, ease they will bring they will bring our calculations to a very normal one compared to the traditional methods in this so let's go ahead and uh, analyze the situation here i'm taking this axis axis of uh, this axis which is also called as axis of precision i'm taking it as z axis see this disc is rotating about this in the stable orbit uh, please mind uh, this part you need to take a note of this this angle is fixed here this angle is fixed here it is not variable otherwise it will make our calculations even uh, difficult so omega net of this uh, body is in this direction overall omega is in this direction so there are two type of omegas you know one is pointing in this direction and one is pointing uh, in this direction so resultant of these two we can say it is uh, in this direction so ag again here you can see uh, since about this axis which is passing through its center it is in pure rotation about uh, with the omega naught i am calling is so total angular momentum of uh, this disc i can write as m small r square by 2 omega naught and i'm calling this uh, unit vector in this direction as n cap so here one thing you can see is about this point in this situation about this point you will find this angular momentum will have two components one is parallel to this precision axis which is l parallel which is constant and there is another angular moment uh, uh, momentum component which is changing its direction as disc will rotate this angular momentum uh, component will be changing its direction i'm calling this direction as r cap for the simplicity and remember here this theta is going to be constant 
so this will be cos theta component and this will be sin theta component so i can write it as mr square by 2 omega naught sin theta and in terms of r cap i can write this value and if angular momentum is changing here that must be supported by torque of mg whatever rate of change of this angular momentum should come it must be equal to the torque acting on this body and there will be some forces acting at uh, this point also on the axle so we are taking torque about this itself and about this point total angular momentum also is uh, known to you that is uh, mr square by 2 omega naught n cap it's one component let's break this into two components l total i'm writing as l perpendicular perpendicular to the precision axis and omega about this axis is omega precision whatever is coming about this axis that is omega of precision so uh, we need to calculate this uh, angular velocity in the problem so i can write here l perpendicular which is this component which is variable plus l parallel vector now if i differentiate this d by dt of uh, l total d by dt of l total it will be d by dt of l perpendicular times r cap plus d by dt of l parallel times z cap along the axis so its a time derivative is going to be zero now uh, this will be equal to torque due to mj which is equal to dl by dt total angular momentum differentiation we can write and from here i can say magnitude of this is constant magnitude of this is constant and this is r cap and if you see clearly this r cap is corresponding to this circle and its uh, omega is in this direction so d by dt of r cap is going to be omega p theta cap and in this case you can see this omega will come outside so it will be like uh, k cap kind of thing i will be writing outside so this will become l perpendicular omega p outside and you check mg component mg will be providing torque in this manner which is outside so it is satisfying the directions also so l perpendicular omega p that should be equal to mg into r sin theta mg into r sin theta all right and let's equate these two so mr square by 2 omega naught and uh, sin theta will come here times omega p this value we have substituted from here mr square by 2 omega naught sin theta uh, times omega p and that should be equal to mgr sin theta so m and m will get cancelled and if you simplify this you will be getting 2g capital R divided by omega naught R square and this is going to be the answer for this problem. I hope uh, guys you will be able to understand this and uh, it's my request to uh, for you to go through those two videos in order to develop better understanding about net omega of a rigid body. And if you want more videos on these 3D rotations, please uh, leave that in uh, the comment section. I will try to upload as many possible. And yes, this is uh, for those students who are preparing for uh, state CET and uh, Unacademy is bringing some new programs. So if you can uh, you know, uh, book your slot with a token amount, you will get 50% uh, discount on uh, the launch date. It will be launching on November 1st. And uh, by the way, the good date for our platform also has come. So it is, uh, uh, we have to choose now. It will be either 11 November or 13 November or 15th November. So these are the dates uh, suggested by Pandit Ji, you can say, for the launch of INSP platform. So one of these days, uh, we will be launching our website. And uh, yeah, I'm just giving you the good news. You keep asking me. And uh, guys, this is another uh, very good feature, which is uh, compete. You can, uh, you know, uh, challenge your uh, friends in duels and uh, you know uh, this would be a short quiz of five questions where you have to give answers and you'll be getting ratings based on this so far uh, 70 17000 unique learners have completed uh, uh, this compete so it's a really good uh, way of uh, improving your subject so if you want to connect with me on an academy for theory classes you can join me using my code Nathan sir so that's it guys and let me know in the comment section if you have understood this uh, properly 
and i'll bring more videos on 3d rotation thank you